Hello, my friends. Welcome to all of you. This is your divine inspiration message for today. All right, my friends. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to start with our Happier Me affirmation cards. I wake up today with joy in my heart and clarity on my mind. This is an amazing, this is an amazing affirmation to help you start your day feeling energized. Make a conscious decision daily to have a great day. I like this one. Goes along with um, Esther Hicks. She does a daily um, meditation, if you will. She calls it a daily rampage. It starts off with today is a good day. It's a really good day. It's a day that's full of possibilities, a day full of, and on and on and on it goes. We have Bridget, who brings her inner fire this week, letting our passions lead us where our purpose is. You need a purpose, you need a passion, and Bridget will bring you what you need. She'll be with you. All the four seasons are here. Even though she is the goddess of Ireland, she became a saint when Christianity came into being. She's usually connected with the spring, but we walked into the fall equinox, so it makes more sense that she should show up as summer turns to fall and in the southern hemisphere, uh, winter turns to spring. Uh, my isms. I am filled with the light of love and of the divine. I am filled with light and love of divine consciousness. I am blessed. I'm always in the flow of more and more greatness. I am wisdom. I am light. I am a star and I shine bright. These are the modalities, the moods, the, the, the instigators that get us thinking in those ways. Now, I have pulled from this brand new deck by Kyle Gray, Angelic Activations. I was wondering what my angelic activation was this morning for me. Um, and I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now, the thing about this is you've got images on one side and you've got uh, the activation on the other side. Activation is affirmation, things to do, what you should concentrate on, how you should. So this is Archangel Raziel. And on the other side, my activation for today says, go beneath the surface. You have learned so much about yourself and the world. You're now recognizing all of the great lessons of your experiences and challenges. Wait. You're now recognizing all of the great lessons of your experiences and challenges. Continue on this pathway. Even though you've come this far, there's much more for you to learn and uncover. Don't take things at face value. Do more research. Spend more time in contemplation. Go deeper than you think is even possible. And for the activation, it says, I am willing to go deeper and do the work. Um, unbelievable. Because today is an angel numerology number seven. You're on the right path, it says. Works with the seven of swords, uh, seven of cups, or the seven of water. The sun, the chariot, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael. Now, it can seem that we have a seven day like nothing's going the right way, or we get a message that confuses us. We're not sure what to focus on. We've got a lot of choices. We've got to pick one. The priorities may be upside down or backwards. This is why we have to look at the joy, the passion, what lights us up. Spiritual desires and plans should be corrected if they're off. Your priorities are in the right order, you just got to choose what priorities they are, particularly with material things, the ones that serve you well. This is a day to be charming and studious. There you go. Now, our friend Joanna, for September 26th, which is today, she's talking about harmonizing relationships. And the affirmation she gives us is, I communicate with clarity and kindness. 
fostering harmony in my relationships. Now, if you want to bring in that God energy, then you put in the beginning of it, I am communicating with clarity and kindness. I am fostering harmony in my relationships as if you are already doing it. The astrological insights from Joanna today says that Mercury enters Libra, enhancing all the communication and social interactions. This transit encourages us to express ourselves with utmost diplomacy and seek balance in all of our conversations. It's a wonderful day to resolve conflicts, put them to bed, share your thoughts openly and honestly, and connect with others in a meaningful way. Uh, way. Libra's influence brings a harmonious energy, making it easier to find common ground and understand different perspectives. Now, the tarot card for today is the Two of Cups, or the Two of Water, if you're using one of Radley Valentine's decks. And the message that goes with the Two of Cups it's symbolizing partnership, mutual respect, emotional harmony, and it encourages us to foster healthy, balanced relationships. But it also has to come with mutual understanding and respect. I like this. Now, if you're a tarot person, if you've got an oracle deck, it doesn't matter. Pull your own card, do a shuffle, put your feet on the floor, and then ask the question, how can I communicate more effectively and harmoniously with others today? What can I do to make it a harmony and balance, particularly if you're working with the public? Now, if you want to clear, and you want to move out some of the icky, picky, mickey, mucky stuff, it's time to light a blue candle. Or put a pale blue piece of paper under a bowl of water. This symbolizes clarity, communication, and visualize this bright blue light all around you. Your throat, anywhere that you communicate, your eyes, your nose. Clear away any blockings, blockages and allow open, honest communication, first of all with yourself. As you do it, repeat the affirmation, I am communicating with clarity and kindness. I am communicating with clarity and kindness. I am communicating with clarity and kindness and visualize this light expanding out from your heart, creating a peaceful atmosphere for all of your conversations today. If you want to write down or you want to journal, here's your focus. What can I do to improve my communication skills and foster better relationships? I think that's incredible. All right, Beatrice and um, Gertrude are in the forest, but not too deep. They are visiting with the elementals, sort of as if you know, they were on the edge of a field and they got, that looks like a card. Oh my God. Well, hello. Um, it does look like a card because guess what card it is? The seven of water, which is the seven of cups, which puts all of our chakras into being. Make a choice, they're saying. Stop procrastinating and overanalyzing. Get clear on what you desire and move forward. If you've got too many options, pick one. If we're not careful, this can lead to addictions. The Archangel Gabriel is here, leading us forward. Um, Archangel Gabriel is also with the three in Major Arcana, which is the Empress. Um, the Empress is about nurturing. The Empress is the one that comes when um, we do have to kind of nurture our soul nature. I would say there's a lot of people out there these days that are having some kind of conflict. But let me I'll put these little cards away. Hang on. That was pretty miraculous that that card flew out like that. Okay. Um, here we go. 
Um, okay, so Beatrice and Gertrude, I get you. They're walking along this pathway, and um, that it's like a pathway that's been well worn, like as if you were um, in a field where they, you know they walk dogs, not so much a park, but just out in nature, and uh, you know along this edge of this field or meadow, or whatever, there are these trees, the woods that are like over here, and. These two are showing me that you can get distracted and you can find your way going off into the woods. Getting into the weeds is what Gertrude's saying. Um, and she's sh sort of giving me this impression that you're being pulled. Being pulled into the woods, being pulled into the weeds, being pulled into the brambles. Uh, so when I first saw them, they were in, I said, oh, you're in the forest, show me. And they said, no, we're not in the forest very far. And then they came back out into this field. There were rabbits and there's all kinds of elementals everywhere. But the point they want you to focus on, this is what's causing the the all over the place stuff. It's almost like those <laughs> uh, over there, those um, crazy fairy lights. It, it's too old. Oh. When the heart is looking for balance, when your emotions and your ideas and your mind is looking to be balanced out, which is Libra today, and harmonized and healed, when you've had all of this gling, 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 going on in your head, there's a tendency on the human side of who we are to want to go popping about into different places popping around and looking at different things with the hopes of lifting us up out of it. This is kind of where, you know, we can get into some pretty obsessive behavior. So what we're being asked to do today is to look at any relationship that we've overlooked, any person that we may have not been paying attention to, particularly ourselves. Any area of our life that we have not been looking at. You know, any part, like I'll be honest, me, it's with past due bills. Don't know what to tell you. But I'm not going to get anywhere if I ignore it. I'm not going to get anywhere if I obsess by it. What I can do is pick up the phone and tell people what's going on. That's it. Clarifying, harmonizing and balancing. That's it. I'm hoping I'm making sense with this chit chat. And I am one for being completely authentic, completely honest. I am one for not sitting with the sour milk on the floor. I get a cloth and clean it up and move on. That's really what we do. Sometimes the shame and the blame and all of this is the sour milk. It's already on the floor. But it wasn't intentional. That's the thing. That's why I ask always, was this intentional? Did you do this on purpose? Maybe there was a part of frivolous nonsense that occurred. One too many glasses of wine and the split decision to get in a motor vehicle oof, could lead to some, some stuff. I'm just one example. You know, another example could be Here's your priority. This is what you need to spend time on. But you don't. You go off in this direction. And it's okay. It isn't intentional. It's just distracting. And distraction, procrastination are all the work of the ego and the devil. So what do we do? We balance it out. Okay, I'm going to do better. Okay, I recognize that. That's a human thing. It came from this place. Now that I know it, I'm aware of it, I can sort it out. Done. And move on. All right, my friends, that's it from me for today. Don't forget tomorrow night, 6 30 in the Woo Woo Lounge. Uh, go to my website, www.kevincross.com forward slash events. Well, you can go up onto the events tab and then you'll see it. Relaxing with what is the road less traveled, the things that we kind of don't 
look at because we're not sure what to do with them and coming not coming out of the frenzy of madness but moving into a more proactive way to a, to to i want to find peace and harmony with all that all right my friends till tomorrow big love bye for now Hey everybody, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.